Hello everyone, welcome back to another Spatial Statistics lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to walk through the first of the nearest neighbor analyses, specifically the first order nearest neighbor or the G statistic. And I want to walk through how we do that in R. So what we're going to do is in case you don't already have them, all the packages loaded, the packages that you're going to need to do this are you're going to need um, spat stat. So if you don't have spat stat, make sure that you uh, install that package because this has the functions that we're going to use. We're going to want to use tmap to map the data. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have, in addition to that, you're going to want to get GIS tools so that you have access to the New Haven data set. So the first thing that we're going to do, once you have all three of those packages installed, again, that spat stat, tmap, and GIS tools. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to first load in the data. I'm going to use the New Haven data set again. Again, I'm going to use the breach example, so I'm going to use the breach data set. Just so that you are clear on what we're using here. So currently the breach data set is an SP object type, right? This is currently an SP object type. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using functions from spat stat. Now, spat stat is kind of obnoxious in that it has its own spatial data set requirement called a PPP object, which means you're going to have to take a step to convert from SP to PPP. But first, before we do any of that, again, always a good idea to plot your data. Right. And if you watch the lecture video on the uh, KDE, this is going to seem very familiar to the code that we just wrote above. But just again, always good practice. To sort of reinforce concepts here. Sort of look at the data again just to make sure that we are where we think we are and all that kind of stuff uh oops i didn't actually pass in blocks here let's try that one okay so again just to make sure that we are where we think we are and that our data looks the way that we think it does okay so in terms of spat stat spat stat the function that we're going to be using inside of spat stat is called jest so we're going to do spat stat and then we're going to be using the capital g e capital g lowercase e s t or jest and this is the nearest neighbor distance g function okay so what does it take the big one that you're going to worry about is this giant X parameter, and this is that PPP object. And then down here with the correction, um, we're just going to go with the KM option. And correction is basically just an alteration to the code that we talked about that accounts for some of the issues with boundaries and that kind of thing. So it's not a big deal that you understand this. You just want to make sure that you know which correction you're using and that if you report it out, that you report which correction that you used. So what we're gonna do, the first thing that we need to do before we actually run jest is we need to actually convert this breach SP object to a breach PPP, to a PPP object. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use a function called as PPP. So, as PPP requires X, which is the data frame, right? So this is the data that we want. 
This is the only thing that we need to pass in because our object already has all the other parts here. Um, you can generate PPP objects from other things, but given this is a spatial object already, all we need to do is pass in our uh, SP object. So what we're going to do is we're going to call breach underscore PPP, and we're going to set that equal to as dot PPP breach. All right, so if we run this, we didn't get an error, error. So now we have a PPP object, which is the input type that is required for all of the SPAT stat functions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually run, I'm going to do that again so we have access to this. We're going to run jest. So I'm going to call this G st G stat for the G statistic. And we're going to run spat stat colon colon jest. And again, it requires a big X, which is the PPP object. So this is going to be breach underscore PPP. It requires a correction, which in this case, we're going to use the KM correction method. Those are the only two things that you need to worry about. So if we run that, we don't get any errors. So what does GSTAT look like? Well, basically, GSTAT has a bunch of different objects in it. It has the distance, it has the theoretically expected, it has the, uh, so this would be the KM correction, this KM. This is the uh, KM corrected. So basically what this is going to let us do, if we type in plot gstat and we run this, run this so we can use the plot window. So what we've done here is what you, what you see are three things. The first thing is this dashed green line. So this is that expected value. And then the red and black lines are what we have calculated. So basically you don't want the red and black lines to be too far apart. If they are, that means your data has some serious problems, but you can see that they're pretty close together, which is, which is really good. What you wanna do in terms of, in terms of um, interpreting this, right, again, Going back to the conceptual lectures, you want to reference this green line here with the red and black lines. This is going to be what you're going to use to estimate um, and interpret your results. So hopefully that makes sense. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.